lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be for those of you guys that are interested in knowing who's coming towards you for the month of March 2019. I have, uh, we have four sets here. I'm going to give you guys time to see which one you're inclined or which one your intuition is pulling you towards. And this is going to be the message for you. Uh, as you guys can see here, going from the left to the right, left, this is my left, to the right, uh, we have the uh, clear crystal quartz, we have the shell, the rose quartz, and the amethyst. So go ahead and um, take your time, see which one, again, like I said, is being pulled towards you, and we will get into the reading, okay? So I'll give you guys a couple of moments. Okay, so I hope you guys made your choosing. Uh, like I said, we are going from my left to the right. This is set number one, the clear quartz crystal. Set number two, the shell. Set number three, the rose quartz. And set number four, the amethyst. Okay, so I'm going to pull these cards back really quick. Okay, for those of you guys that chose set number one with the crystal clear quartz, we have here the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the High Priest, and the Romance Angels Oracle Cards, the Finances and Career. Um, so for those of you guys that chose this, um, some of you guys may feel a bit um, guarded, a bit protected. Um, some of you guys could also be experiencing like you guys have been single for quite a while. All your attention and focus has gone towards um, your business endeavors or your finances. Now, the Six of Pentacles here is definitely telling me that there's going to be an opportunity coming for you guys. Um, and this could very well be the beginning, um, I would say, by the middle of March, going into third, um, even the last week of March, going into April. There is definitely new opportunities. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be interested in a person perhaps that you found or met at work or while you were working. Uh, this is a general reading, so you could have met them when they were working as well. Um, the Ace of Swords definitely speaks about communication that is already active. For some of you guys, you guys already know who I'm talking about. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Taurus. Others of you may be dealing with an air sign, which would be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or... Um, an earth sign, which would be, again, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Now, again, like I said, the Nine of Wands could represent um, being guarded. Uh, this could be you or this could be the person that you're interested in. If those of you guys that you have been communicating or you are interested in someone, uh, you may find it difficult to read them or perhaps even feeling like they're not really giving you attention. And it's not that they're not interested with the Six of Pentacles. This is a give and receive. But I feel that for them, the Nine of Wands could represent that they are extremely guarded, perhaps from being hurt from the past. And they're wanting to see if you're willing to put effort or show them uh, pretty much, you know, your heart on your sleeve, so to speak, um, because they are more guarded. They have been let down in previous relationships. And this could be even um, a person that perhaps was in a long term committed relationship or were, was married. Um, and again, with the finance and careers card here, I feel that uh, the person that you may be interested in or the person, if you know who I'm talking about, uh, the person that you're interested in perhaps doesn't seem so much interested in you. And it's not that they're personally not interested, is that they have been let down or they've had experiences with the broken heart and they've put or they've chosen to put all their effort and energy towards their finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this could symbolize as well that perhaps you yourself haven't given yourself the opportunity uh, to open up and to find love. Um, perhaps you've put all your effort and energy towards the business, towards the company, towards work, 
whatever it is, um, this is almost like a self-sabotaging type of mechanism um, to try to protect yourself or to try to protect your heart. But again, what Spirit is telling you is that in order for you to actually be able to receive something, um, if you are looking for a relationship, in order for you to receive, you need to be more open-minded. You need to be more open, stop being so guarded, and understand when it, when it comes to relationships, it's a give and take. So if you are interested in a person and you're actively pursuing them or actively giving them your attention and they're not returning that, then you need to see that for what it is. Yes, they are perhaps preoccupied with their finances, but what Spirit is telling you here with the Ace of Swords, the person that's coming towards you for the month of March is going to be a very direct person. It's going to be a person that is going to show you through actions, not words that they're interested in, that they're looking for something long term. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. On to the second, um, the second set. Okay, for those of you guys that chose set number two with the shell, we have here the world card, the three of pentacles, the three of cups, the four of swords, and the romance angels oracle cards, romantic feelings. So I feel that for those of you guys that chose the shell, perhaps there was a recent breakup or a recent separation or a recent finding out or getting the news that perhaps the person that you were interested in either has someone else or that they are romantically involved in um, in another relationship. So what this means, we do have three, uh, sorry, two threes here. So there's definitely third party types of energies. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that they are, yes, that they are cheating or stepping out of the relationship if you're currently in a relationship. But what it is signifying is that there is current influences outside of your relationship that have either brought um, some distance between the relationship between you and the person of your interest, or it could have been the reason for a breakup. So for those of you guys that recently are giving each other some space or recently found yourself, your partner telling you that they're wanting some type of distance or that they're wanting some time um to take some time off the relationship and it came out of nowhere and you're feeling like you're unsure why, uh, they are definitely dealing with another person. Now, you do have the world card here. This could signify meeting a person uh, through travel. For some of you guys, um, this could signify uh, meeting a person while traveling or while vacationing or even going towards, you know, a different city other than your own. Um and again, there is a connection or this person is in, being introduced to you. Now, you do have the Three of Cups here. So I feel that for those of you guys that are currently single um, and have even those of you that have recently became single because of a separation, uh, Spirit is telling you that with the World card here, there is a promise or there is an opportunity to meet someone that is coming towards you to be able to build something um, something more long-term, something more. But again, it's going to come at a cost. Um, so this could be the negative would be if you're currently in a relationship and you don't see yourself being with someone else. What Spirit is telling you is that there is new expansion coming for you. There is new beginnings. And there's also a new person that you may meet while traveling or while vacationing um, or going to a different city um, perhaps even being pushed or pulled with friends, like, you know, friends inviting you to go out or something like that. And I definitely do see an introduction. So I see them coming towards you. Um, this could be through friends. This could be people that introduce you to the person. Nonetheless, with the four of swords, I feel that some of you guys may have recently became single. Now, for those of you guys that are still in a relationship and you feel like your partner is being a bit, um, more, you know, spaced out or even becoming a bit cold, there is definitely a third party or a person that has that has sparked their interest. And again, there may, there may be a need um, to fall apart in order to come back again. So what do I mean by this? For those of you guys that have in fact found out that the partner was cheating on you, there is probabilities that at the end of March, you are introduced to a new person that comes into your life. Now, this could signify a new beginning, 
But this new beginning, in order for it to start off right, you have to make sure that you're pulling away from the past, that you're actively uh, open to meeting new people and that you're not going to use this new person that's coming towards you as a means or a way to create some tension or some jealousy, um, perhaps to try to lure your partner back with you. At the end of the day, always give the opportunity. This is something I tell everyone. Give the opportunity to the new person. Uh, if you have given multitude of opportunities to your partner and they continuously keep letting you down, then it is only of crazy people to continue doing the same thing and expect something different as a result. Uh, with romantic feelings, you are feeling real. Um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So again, if there is some type of attraction or something new that is in the horizon for you, give the opportunity to that. Uh, don't allow people to hurt you or let you down time and time again, okay? Um, now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while because of a third party type of situation, I do see a new person coming towards you for the, I want to say the end of March. Um, and again, the reason I say the end of March is because we do have two threes here and then we have a four at the end. So this could be the beginning of April. Um, but I feel that this is going to uh, start unfolding at the end of March. Uh, again, like I said, do not be surprised if you are unexpectedly invited to a gathering or social outing or some sort. Um, perhaps friends trying to encourage you, even friends telling you that perhaps it's time to move on. Uh, try the best you can to take on their advice. Um, if not anything else, just to keep yourself uh, more positive, more optimistic. It's not good to run away from the world, especially when we are currently healing uh, it is necessary to remember to continue living in the now and stop living in the past, but also stop worrying about the future and just surrender, let go, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed. On to the third set. Okay, those of you guys that have chose set number three with the rose quartz, we have the eight of cups, the knight of pentacles, the star card, the chariot card, and the romance angels oracle cards, the wedding Okay, so for a lot of you guys that chose this set, uh, perhaps you're coming out of a relationship. Perhaps for some of you guys, you guys feel like you're ready to move on. Uh, this could have been a while of singlehood for some of you guys. For others of you, it could be as recent as two weeks ago that there was an ending or a separation. With the Knight of Pentacles, you might have been dealing with an earth sign. Um... If you are currently dealing with an earth sign, communicating or getting to know an earth sign, which would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, and this is a new energy, give the opportunity to this person. Open up. Allow them to prove to you through actions their intentions. Um, you do have also the star card here. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer, as we do have the chariot card here present. Now... In general, um, the Knight of Pentacles signifies a long journey. Uh, it also signifies a message that perhaps you've been waiting for quite a while. Uh, for those of you guys that recently uh, there is some type of distance or some type of separation uh, with the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is signifying being able to pull away, but it also speaks about going towards new beginnings, uh, accepting what is and surrendering to the process of unfolding events, which means believing in faith or having a uh, very heavy belief in, in uh, destiny. Now with the night, I do see the night coming towards you and the star card. So this is unexpected news, unexpected communication. Perhaps um, the partner, uh, if there was a, se a separation, if there was an ending to a relationship and you were still trying to salvage this relationship, know and understand, that for the month of March 2019, there will be unexpected events unfolding before you that will give you guys both the opportunity to come together and to be genuine with one, one another and to open up and express each other's mutual feelings. Whether this is you both came to the realization that you're better off together than being apart or understanding that perhaps one was taken for granted or the other uh, was not really putting a lot of effort in the relationship as I do see them. 
making their decision or making the choice, making their mind up about actively putting effort in the relationship in order to build something long lasting as we do have the wedding card here. This situation involves marriage. Now, again, like I said, for some of you guys, if there was a recent breakup within the past two, perhaps even a month, uh, the longest, I do see them coming back, especially if there's been like very little to no communication at all. There's going to be turning of unfolding events uh, that will bring them back to you. And again, with the star card, this could signify the planet alignments aligning and assisting you in bringing this person back to you, but not just bringing them back to you, them willing to put effort and fix or salvage the relationship. And it will uh, turn into something long-term, whether it's commitment for others of you, it could be even um, commitment in the sense of moving in with each other or physical active wedding, like being engaged. Um, so again, it, th this is one thing I do wanna tell you guys. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, um, and I'm talking about the past year or longer, know and understand that spirit is trying to open paths for you. They're trying to bring you towards where you're supposed to be walking or the path you're supposed to be walking. Stop resisting and stop feeling like you're never going to find a life partner because I feel that the majority of those who chose this are definitely looking for a lifetime partner. You got to be patient and understand. Yes, sometimes we have to weed out the bad, uh, the bad relationships that are not going to give us what we're wanting, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to be finding uh, the life partner or that you're not going to be finding your husband or wife. You got to have faith and understand that everything is perfect timing. So for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time and almost feel uh, to the point of accepting that perhaps you will never find a person um, that is going to offer you long-term stability, the answer basically is stop worrying about the future and start living in the now. Stop being so stubborn in your old past behaviors, whether it's choosing to actively just sit at home and do nothing, um, or whether it's just to try to avoid new people. What Spirit is telling you is you need to shake that off. You need to know and understand that we behold our own destiny of unfolding events. Time is fluid. Destiny is fluid as well. And with this, you need to be open to the possibilities. If your mind constantly thinks that you're not going to find a lifetime partner or that you're not going to find someone that appreciates you and genuinely loves you, then chances are you won't find them. And it's not, uh, or you won't find her. It's not a matter of if or not. It's more to do with your acceptance, your understanding of it. So the, most, the more you worry, the more you fear not finding this person, the more the universe is going to echo you and in turn put you in situations that make you feel like you're never going to find that special someone. So open your heart up, give in, and be more spontaneous. Go out, try new things, try to be around new people, try to make new friends, and again, know and understand that you are worthy of love, and you will find that person that you're looking for. You just have to have faith. On to the next reading. Okay, for those of you guys that chose the Amethyst, which is the set number four, we have here the Hermit card, the Death card, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Romance, Angels, Oracle cards, You Deserve Love. Okay, so those of you guys that have chose this, for some of you, um, perhaps there was recent events that led to your singlehood, as we do have the Hermit card here and the Death card. Uh, signifying um, for some of you guys uh, recent separation or recent becoming of single um, or being single. For others of you, it could represent that you've been single enough. You've been single for quite a while. You need to shake that off because with the death card, there is definitely transmutation and major transformative type of energy signifying the longing for something um, finally coming towards you. Now, the Hermit card does symbolize, again, a lot of internal reflection, a lot of um, self-reflective type of energy. For some of you guys, perhaps you found yourself uh, being very spiritually inclined. For others, perhaps there was changes in regards to your belief system, to your religion, kind of finding or going on the search of the meaning of life. 
Um, nonetheless, uh, with the Hermit card here, you may be dealing with the Virgo. For others of you, uh, Scorpio, I do see Earth as well, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And what the cards are definitely telling you here with the Hermit and the Death card, knowing and understanding that with every ending, yes, there is sadness. Yes, there is uh, major transformative energy. And that is something very difficult. So for some of you guys that recently became single, again, um, there is definitely the feeling of loss, the feeling of wanting to put more effort uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, wanting to actively put effort in the relationship, even if your partner has left you basically out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. But what Spirit is telling you is you deserve love. You are lovable. Stop feeling like you have to beg people um, to give you an opportunity. Stop feeling like you have to self-sacrifice something in order to be in a relationship or in order to be loved. This is all to do with, again, it could have been past trauma, past relationships. Perhaps some of you guys are very inclined or pulled towards very toxic type of people. And with the hermit card, it's like know and understand that you are your own light. Um, yes, it's been difficult. Yes, you've gone through many different struggles. But know and understand that the struggles are coming to an end. For the month of March 2019, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing new opportunities, new beginnings when it comes to love and romance. Your single hut time is basically up. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, again, do not self-sacrifice yourself. If you are in an unhappy relationship, Spirit is telling you, What's the point of being in a relationship if even still being in a relationship, you feel lonely, okay? And that weighs very, very heavy on you. So you have to start contemplating. You have to start asking yourself those big questions. Are you truly happy? And if you're not, is it because you're accepting like, you know, their little grain of effort that they may put in the relationship? Are you sacrificing yourself, sacrificing your happiness in order to be comfortable, in order to just have the title of being the girlfriend or being the boyfriend or being the wife or being the husband when you know that you are not emotionally fulfilled. And I tell you this, when you are in a relationship and you are not emotionally fulfilled, the possibility of stepping out of the relationship is very grand. And a lot of the times you don't step out of the relationship for something better. You just step out of the relationship in order to feel like you're not alone. And if you're in a relationship and you're feeling alone, what's the point of being in a relationship? It's best to end whatever is not working and give way and give opportunities for you to find your happiness. Yes, this could be difficult, especially if there's children involved. Nonetheless, know and understand that with the Eight of Pentacles and the You Deserve Love card, this is definitely telling you don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. If you find yourself putting extra effort in the relationship, sacrificing, uh, accepting cheating, accepting disrespect, uh, being belittled, whatever this may mean to you, don't accept that. that. You deserve so much better than that. And it's time you start believing it yourself. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Blessings. Bye.